Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to create a bronzy Indian maroon lips kind of a look. So let's see what I come up with. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is applying my primer and today I'm going to be using the one from The Ordinary and it's called Hylamide Primer. So next I'm going to go in and apply my color corrector and here I am using the one from MAC, my favorite uh, orange color corrector. Next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. This is from Maybelline. This is the Matte Poreless Foundation and this is in the shade 335. I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. blending brush. This is the face brush. I love it for foundation application. It really blends the foundation beautifully. Now I'm going to be applying my concealer and this is from Milani. I'm going to take a tiny bit and apply this on the areas where a little bit I need a little bit of highlight and concealing. So tiny bit here. As you can see my foundation is a tiny bit orange so I need to fix that. And this is how I do it. Okay, I'm going to take my blending sponge and blend this up. To excuse my two-year-old or going to be two-year-old is yelling and screaming. Uh, terrible twos started for him before he turned two. <laughs> okay, now this is done. I'm going to ever so quickly set my foundation and my concealer with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Next I'm going to go and fix my eyebrows and here I'm using one called uh, Quite Natural from MAC. This is the Prolong Wear Paint Pot. Next, eyebrows are done. I am going to put on a eye primer and this one is from MAC. I'm not going to tell you the name because it's no longer available. It's a discontinued item. So I am going to take a tiny bit of it and apply this all over my lid. So I'm going to be using this palette from Colourpop. It's called You Had Me At Hello. I am going to be taking this brown over here and I'm going to carve out my crease. You know, I'm just going to blend it all out right above the crease to extend my lid space. So using the same brush, I'm going to go and use this shade here, very creamy brown. So that shade is going to go right above that darker brown. So I'm going to clean this brush. I'm going in with this lighter cream shade and putting it on my eyebrow bone area. So for that bronzy look, I'm going to be taking this particular product, which is a skin finish from MAC. This was the limited edition, you know, Mariah Carey limited edition. If you have any eyeshadow that has similar bronze color, you can also do the same. 
239 brush and I'm going to take a tiny bit of this and I'm going to put it all over my lip. Now I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to line my eyes first. I'm going to be using a chubby cold pencil. This one is from Rimmel and I'm going to line my eyes. So here I have a pointed brush like this. I'm just going to go and quickly smudge this out. I'm going to clean this brush quickly. I'm going to take my Ben Nye banana powder and I'm going to put this right below where I have applied the cold pencil so that it doesn't smudge. Okay, so let's continue with the bronze eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go back to that same uh, skin finish bronzy shade and I'm going to apply a tiny bit on my inner corners. I'm going to add some glitter to this look. I'm still not done yet, obviously. I am going to be using the Supernova shadow and this is called Dragon. It's a beautiful bronzy uh, shade. And this is going to go on the center of my lid. Now I'm going to intensify the outer V. I'm going to go in with this darker brown here. I'm going to take a tiny bit of that. Now I'm going to line my eyes. I'm using the matte liner from NYX. So it's time for mascara and lashes. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply them. The lashes I'm going to be using is from Makeup Addiction and this is how it looks like. It's called Extreme Glam and it looks like this. So let me go ahead and put on my false lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I've already applied my false lashes. Now we're going to move on to the rest of the face. And for blush, I am going to be using Foolish Me from MAC. And a tiny bit on my nose. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I've noticed that when you do your blush and apply this over your nose it kind of ties the entire look much better than when you don't do it it's just a personal preference you can always skip this if you don't like doing that okay blush is done now I'm going to go back to that skin finish mineralized skin finish and I'm going to apply this right above where I applied the blush So with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to apply this on the tip of my nose. My lips. For the lips, I'm going to be lining it with Colourpop's BFF3. This is a brown lip liner. So I am going to be mixing two different reds from MAC. One is called MAC Red, which looks like this, and the other one is Russian Red, which is basically a matte bluish red. I'm going to be applying the first layer of red using the Russian Red MAC lipstick. And I'm going to go in with the MAC Red. This is more of a true red. I'm 
mix them all in mm, like that I'm gonna go back with my pencil liner and I'm just gonna fix the edges so now it's time for me to put on my earrings and also put it and I'll be back So this is a completed look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me here and I will see you soon in my next video. So do make sure to subscribe and click the notification button so you know that I post videos. Okay guys, I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye! <laughs>